Roses are red. Violets are blue. You call your cards right, and you win up to 32. Right here on Card Sharks. Yes, guys, we have returned once again to the Card Sharks Lab right here at JBD Studios, and it's so glad to be back. We're going to run the cards a little differently, not on the PC, but actually in real life. So look, look, real cards. Oh my god, real cards. Okay. <laughs> We're going to this a little differently. Of course, I am Jay Van Diesel, your host. And this is, of course, a show where you went up to $32,000 on the turn of a single card. This is Card Sharks. I don't know how many times I'm going to keep mentioning it. It's just more fun, I guess. We have three Skype guests. We have the two players and the spectator. Let's introduce you to the spectator first, Brandon Martin. Brandon, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, JBD. Okay. And let's introduce you to the two Card Sharks, Rodney Flippin. Rodney. Yes, thank you for having me, JVD. No problem. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself, if you can, in like 30 seconds. All right, well, I'm about to be 34 years old next month. Mm hmm. And I'm an office assistant um, in downtown Chicago. Downtown Chi Town. All right, good job. Uh, Chicago was the home of Money in the Bank a couple years ago. That's right, that's right. Great, great event. And we have Steve Man K. Steve, what's up, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a 25 year old man. I'm unemployed. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm a huge sports fan. And I like game shows as well. And a big wrestling fan, too. Okay, so he's got the same. He's, he's, from, he's from a city that Oticon is held in every year. And I'm going to try to get to Oticon this year. And I find it funny that you claim that you're a man because if you would not have been a man and you'd been on this show with a name like Steve not being a man, it would be kind of weird. <laughs> Let's, let me explain to you guys at home how the game works. I'm going to be asking these guys some questions that are high-low. The object is to get as close to the number, if not exactly on the number, as possible. And your opponent will then take the guess and tell me whether they think the actual number is higher or lower than the one you guessed. Then we get to the cards. That's where the toss-up and the fun happens a lot. We are going to start with Rodney. Rodney will be playing the red card. Steve, you'll be playing the blue cards. Okay. All right. I actually wrote these on index cards. <laughs> Question number one, Rodney, that goes to you, and I've asked a hundred... I've did these surveys a lot, so bear with me on this one. All right. I asked a hundred people, if you could have the choice to either live forever or have a million dollars in front of you, which one would you choose? How many people said they'd rather live forever? Wow. You know, I would say that. That's a good one. I think a lot of people would like to live as long as they live to that want to live because, you know, money can only take you so far in life, but your mm -hmm. life is, like, priceless. You only got one. So I would say that that number is a pretty high number. And the number that I'm going with is 65. 65 out of 100 said they'd rather live forever than have a million. Steve, i got to ask you, do you think that's going to be higher or lower than 65? Well, I'm sure there are a lot of people who would like to have a whole lot of money, well, me especially. And I'm going to say that it's I'm going to be a little bit higher. A little bit? A little bit. Say it again? Steve, say that again. Are you choosing, choosing higher or lower? Higher. Higher than 63. Yes. Well, the actual number of these people who said they'd rather live forever than have a million dollars might shock you. It's 57. It's not higher. It's lower. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Which means Rodney starts the cards. I will bring my camera over here. I will switch to the other camera we have. I think if I know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. So we'll just go right over here then. <laughs> I have to go from here. Rodney, you have the power to change the card if you want. Starting you off. Ho! Oh! Joker in the deck. What a way to start. This Joker's a good thing. That's a $5,000 bonus. I'm playing big money. Replace that card. Replace that card. You're starting off with a nine as your base. He won the question. He can change it. The nine becomes 
Whoa, a deuce. Higher. Higher than the two. It's a seven. And I have a freeze right there. Freeze on the seven, holding the one, the only Steve man from away from playing his cards. And the question will go to Steve. Wow. I did this one from Wizard World in June. I went to a hundred guys that were at that convention and I asked them. Well, these and these and these hundred, by the way, all know about the anime Sailor Moon. Just in case you're wondering, I said if you could date any one of the Sailor Scouts besides Sailor Moon, would you do it? How many said they would? I'm just gonna say forty-seven. Forty-seven out of a hundred said they would date another Sailor Scout besides Sailor Moon. Rodney, higher or lower? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know a whole lot about anime. So I'm just going to go with a guess here and I'm going to go higher. Higher than that. Well, the answer on this one's actually going to shock you guys too because the correct number is 12. It's not higher. It's a lot lower. Wow. Okay. <laughs> hey, Sailor Moon's the biggest sex symbol in anime at this point. Hey Steve, I got a, I got a, uh, I got a five for you. Can I change it, please? You want to change the five? Please. And not much better. It's a six. Ugh. I will go higher. Higher than the six, Joker. All right, Steve. All right. You both found one. Okay. Come in handy. <laughs> I'm guessing you're gonna go for the same thing. What's the option again? Uh, it's a higher or lower than a six. What? You're playing off of a six. Six? Um, um, uh, higher, I guess. Fortunately, I'm sorry, Gary. It's a five. Oh, my God. Rodney, free chance for you. You got a seven. Okay, let's go higher. Higher than the seven? Oh! The three bit you. Oh, well. Three happen to bite you. No one makes any progress. You both have a Joker. Rodney, question for you, my friend. All right. Actually, my friend did this one. I just read a couple words on it. Asked a hundred school principals this question. Okay. I don't know how the hell my I don't know how the hell my friend did it, but he was able to. <laughs> don't ask me how. I won't. <laughs> he said, "Do you think it's better to have?" In school suspension and out of school suspension? How many principals said yeah? Well, okay. Here's why I feel about in school suspension. If the kids are having in school suspension, that keeps them from a lot of activities in school. And it will keep the kids from being at home playing those video games. That's why it's probably good to have in school suspension. However, if the kids are just out of control and stuff in school, the out of school suspension, I guess, is necessary. So I guess that's going to be a middle number. I'm going to go with 51. 51 out of 100 said it's better to have in school than out of school. What do you think, Steve? I think it's going to be higher. Higher than that. Well, the funny thing is I'm trying to beat Robotnik down. The actual number of... <laughs> Of students, it's uh, my fault. Principals that said it's better to have in school than out of school. Just beat him. Funny thing is, it's actually forty nine. It is lower, oh. not higher. Rodney, you are off by two. I'm trying to beat Robotnik, and I beat Robotnik. You lost the first time to him. The first two got, times got to him. Got my ass kicked to him. Rodney, you had a seven there. Let's change the seven. Seven gets changed. It's now a jack. Good change. Lower. Lower than the jack. Oh. Would you believe it? It's a king. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Steve, you got a six. I guess we'll go higher again. Higher than the six? No, the three got you. <laughs> <laughs> three got him. Oh, man. This is, this is getting weird, folks. Fourth and final question. It's sudden death. Someone's got to win on this play of the cards. I wish you guys the best of luck. Steve, the question is yours. Oh, oh my god. 
Oh, I didn't even remember about this one. We asked a hundred fast food chefs, fast food, people that meet the food. Have you ever wanted to spit in a customer's food because they were rude to you? How many said they would have wanted to do it? Man. I, I am pretty sure that if it's McDonald's or Burger King, fast food place, I'm sure if somebody is rude, that yeah, they'd want to do that, but that is just flat out rude. So, um, disgusting. So I'm going to say about 37. 37 out of 100 said they wanted to do it. Rodney, higher or lower? They may want to do it, but I mean, I think if they need their job, and if they need their livelihood, they wouldn't do it at all, or even think of doing it. That's gonna be lower. You think? You think the amount of people that said they would do it? I didn't say that they actually would do it. They actually did. I said they would. Okay. It's still lower. It's still lower. Okay. Yes. They have a thirty-seven and a lower. The actual number of the restaurant people. God. 59. Whoa! They wanted to. They never did. Wow. Rodney, I mean, uh, Steve, let me explain the situation for you, if I may. You have four cards to turn over with a six as your card. You may change it if you wish. Or, you can go ahead and pass it to my friend Rodney over here. He's got three cards to turn over and a jack. One goof from either side. The opponent will win the game. What do you want to do? I'm going to go for it, and I'm going to change the six. You want the six changed? You can have the six changed. The bad part is it becomes a nine. you got to play off of it. I'm going to go lower. Lower than the oh. nine. A four. I'm gonna kill my, I'm gonna kill Higher. Higher than the four. A five. Higher. Higher than the five. An eight. Seven plus one. Lower. For the first game, lower than the eight. No, it's a jack. I gotta say, I give you credit, though, for going for that. Uh, I'm gonna flip over the other cards to show uh, what they would have been. Rodney, had you had you been playing, I'm gonna do this before we go to commercial, had you had you played Call Your Jack? I would have said lower. You would have been right, it was a five. And then I would have said higher. Higher, you ran to a jack. And then I would have said lower again. And this time you'd be incorrect, it was an ace to run oh. into. But it doesn't wow. matter. First game of the match is yours. Commercial break. I have to take one. You guys can come on back right here. Card Sharks. Heated game. We got more when we come back. Stay tuned.